the reality here is what you're saying. There is no way just to change the pain of saving. So you have to trick yourself almost logistically and just set it up so that you're not seeing it to some extent, or you're trying to, to some extent. That, that, yeah, that's part of it. The other part, um, and again, we're talking about the dominant part of the brain. It, it, it really goes for vision. So if the more a person can envision why they're saving, the more their savings going to do. We actually did a research study on uh, Mutual of Omaha, and um, in 60 minutes, we increased the savings rate of a group of people uh, by 70 All right, tell me that experiment. Give me the gist of that. I love yeah. this. Yeah. One is you get a lecture. You should save. You should save it, you know, you know like the, the normal pitch. And the second group, uh, actually, they were the third group. The first group did nothing, right? And um, the second group, uh, we had, we said, when you come, we want you to bring something that's really important to you. So bring something that you can carry, bring with you that represents something really important to you. And and now we're talking about family or family heritage or, you know, it's like clannish stuff. And then we literally, um, I, we're talking about semi-truck drivers and dump truck drivers and professors and, you know, it's a mixed group. Uh, we said we want you to build a vision board. Like when when you can do anything you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want, and you don't have to do anything else, what would your life look like? Literally. And, and in 60 minutes, we increased the savings rate from 30% from the lecture to 76% for the people who did the vision boards. And then we gave them little stuffed animals to represent this dream. And um, one of the stories is uh, there was a, one of the guys in, involved in the project, um, a dump truck pulls up behind him and blows its horn at the stoplight. And he looks up and, there, and the, the, the driver's pointing to the little bear hanging from his, from his mirror. Right? So uh, this part of the brain really responds to visioning. And um, in, in whatever field, especially what you're talking about retirement, uh, what we've learned is the clearer the image the more likely they are to act, right? So why am I saving? Um, and what I say to people is there's one point in time, and at least once, when every one of us has said, we've seen something, says, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. And nothing would stop us. I mean, like, Wes, are you kidding me? Like, who do you think you are? <laughs> it's like, you can't do that. It's like, you know, nothing stops you. And if it comes from the outside, anything will stop you mm. if the idea comes from the outside. So especially working, I, I do a lot of work with people in life transitions. And it's like, until you can envision a life better than what you have now, you're not going to do anything. To, like, why would you move towards something that's not as good as what you have now? You know, it's like, why would you do that?